everybody. This is Mrs. Leia Luga, and I'm here to read the next chapter of A Boy Called Bat. So we are on chapter six, which is skunk lunch. We just learned in the last chapter that the baby animal that mom brought home was a skunk, and Bat's really excited about it. Can it spray yet? Janie asked. No, mom answered. Soon he will be able to, but when skunks are babies, they can't spray as strongly as the adults. Bat realized that he didn't know a lot about skunks. He knew they sprayed a stinky smell to protect themselves, and he knew they were mammals, and he knew they were omnivores because they ate bugs and smaller animals and plants too. But he didn't know very much more than that. He decided to learn everything about skunks. What are we going to feed him? Bat asked. Can I do it? He's too little to eat yet, so we need to feed him formula. They don't make skunk formula, so we will use puppy formula. It's the closest thing to mother skunk milk. Janie stood up. It's a cute skunk, Mom, but I want to go over to Ezra's house, okay? Okay, Mom said. Be back in an hour. Ezra lived three houses up the block and had been Janie's best friend since before Bat was born. Janie loved Ezra. She thought he was funny and smart and creative. Bat didn't love Ezra. He thought Ezra was loud and annoying and a mean tease. Sometimes when Janie went to play at Ezra's house, it bothered Bat that he wasn't invited and that there wasn't a house he was invited to visit where Janie didn't go. But right now, he didn't care about Ezra or anything other than feeding the skunk kit. Goodbye, he said to Janie without taking his eyes off the baby skunk's tiny face. The skunk was yawning and licking his lips with the world's tiniest, pinkest tongue. Janie left. Mom said, okay, Bat. Sit right here, and I'll get the formula. She went to her bag and pulled out a can, like a soda can, but with a picture of a puppy on it. Mom shook it and cracked it open and dipped a syringe inside, pulling the plunger up. Bat watched it fill with a thick white liquid. Sorry, guys. My cat here decided she was going to jump up and uh, join us for this read aloud. Hide, Miss Ginger. I'm going to put her back on the chair. <laughs> We only give him a few drops at a time, Mom said, carrying the full syringe back over to the table. Watch me do it first. She took the skunk and arranged him on her lap, one hand over his back and under his front legs to hold him upright, the other hand aiming the syringe full of formula at his mouth. The skunk seemed to know what was about to happen and twitched his little pink nose back and forward eagerly. Mom slowly pushed down on the plunger and Bat watched a thick white droplet of puppy formula push through the hole at the end of the syringe. The skunk tipped back his chin and opened his mouth, licking eagerly at it. What a good little boy, Mom cooed, pressing more formula into his mouth. I want to feed him. Let me feed him. I want to feed him, Bat said. Okay, okay, Mom handed the skunk back to Bat. He tried to hold the skunk the way Mom had and then took the syringe in his other hand. Very slowly, Mom warned him, and finally it was Bat's turn. As slowly as he could, he pressed down on the plunger, aiming the syringe tip at the skunk's mouth, and it worked. There's a little picture. The skunk's little pink tongue lapped at the formula. Droplets gathered at the corners of his mouth, and some ran down his chin, onto the towel, but most of it made it into the baby skunk's mouth. I'm doing it, Bat whispered. I'm feeding him. You sure are, Mom said. Bat knew he was doing a messier job of it than Mom had done, but the baby skunk didn't seem to mind. I love him, Bat said. He hadn't meant to say it out loud. Mom laughed. Careful, or you might make me jealous, she said. But it's true, Bat said. I love him. Mom said they'd have to hand the kit over to the rescue center in a month. But Bat, holding the tiny animal in his arms, made a salient promise that he'd figure out a way to keep him. Mm, that was probably bound to happen, right? He's starting to already get attached to this baby skunk. So I hope you guys will tune in with me tomorrow and hear the next chapter of A Boy Called Bat. Thanks for listening.